Is your seat super uncomfortable because it slants forward and down on your Talaria Sting? Mine was, and now it's not. So we have this one here. We added a couple little spacers in here, and now it is way better. We're gonna show you how to do that today. Today we're going to be doing this seat upgrade on our buddy Sheldon Solaria Sting. He has a first generation bike and it slants down a ton. He's been complaining about it, so we're gonna do the upgrade that we've done on our bikes several months ago. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to take off this seat assembly. You gotta open up your battery. Take out your battery, probably best. It's always safer to just disconnect and remove your battery when working with any wires inside the bike. Okay, we've got to disconnect this rear wire that goes to your rear tail light so we can pull off this whole assembly here. Okay. Okay, I'll just cut out. Now you got to take out it's these six Allen, these, this one on both sides, that one, that one, and these three. Same on the other side. Okay, we've got these two frame bolts off. Quickly do the same on this side, and then this whole assembly, you have to be careful because the whole piece will come off. Come off now. Make sure that wire is unplugged. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be working with. You can just leave your bike here, make sure to save all your bolts. So now we're gonna flip this over, unscrew these two and these two. Take these four out, and there's two plastic washers in this, and they're in the front too. You're gonna take off these all the way and loosen these most of the way. Okay, the front two are out, back two are getting loosened. It's probably best just to take these ones out, actually. Yeah, it probably ends up being a little easier. Yeah, these last two off. Okay, your next step after removing the seat assembly is to take the two front bolts and thread them back on all the way down and they're gonna act as partial spacers. All right, let's go to the hardware store and get the parts. Take your seat with you so you get the right thread. Let's go. Bye, Bye Dory. Dory. Okay, we made it to Ace Hardware. Let's get our parts. Okay, we're looking for two M6 20 mil. M6-1. Coupling nuts, yeah. They're $2 each here. Okay, we're gonna grab some of these hex cap screws and with an M6. 16, stainless steel. Okay guys, so we decided to not use the lock washer and just use three washers instead. So just go ahead and buy six total and we'll put three per bolt. All right, we're back from Ace. We got all of our parts here. Got our two spacers, our two new bolts, four washers, two lock washers, and two new longer screws to replace these ones because they're not long enough anymore. Let's get these installed. Got our Loctite and our wrench and our socket. So first, you're just gonna put a little bit of Loctite on these, not a lot. Get them screwed on there. Then I'd get your 10 wrench, hold the bottom nut, and then just tighten these together. And do the same with this other side. And this is the tricky part. So put these screws back in these holes. You don't need to hook them on yet. Line that up. And then you're gonna get your bolts some more Loctite on them. Make sure you put Loctite on this because that's there's not much thread holding this. Your lock washer and your two washers. And stick that in there. And make sure you don't put these on yet or else you won't be able to get these in. So we ended up actually just using three flat washers instead of two washers and a lock ring. There just wasn't quite enough room to be able to squeeze that in there and this is working better. Once you get 
once you get these ones started, you can go ahead and put these back on and then tighten all four of them. Good and solid. So now, what we gotta do is put this plastic part back on. We got our four screws. So what you have to do is you actually get two new screws that are longer. Because when this goes on, since we raised it, now these two, there's a big gap in between, so the small screws won't fit. You also need to be really careful screwing these back in because you are just screwing into plastic. You're not going into anything metal, so you need to just use a screwdriver, not a drill, and just be very careful threading those in. All right, so this is how long you need these ones to be. About, about double. All right, when you're putting these on, definitely don't do it too tight, just enough to where the plastic won't rattle. Okay, we got those four on. Now your seat assembly is back intact. Let's get it back on the bike. Make sure to tuck your wire in right here. Just tuck that in and then we can plug it in once the assembly is bolted on. Then grab all your bolts, just put them in really loose. Don't tighten any one until all six are in. All right, all the bolts are back in. Let's get this wire plugged back in for the rear tail light. And it just tucks back in there. All right, let's get the battery back in. Now we have had trouble with these batteries wobbling, especially on the first generation bikes, just not being super secure. And so we've come up with a couple of solutions. We're gonna make a video in the next couple of weeks kind of showing you the best way we've found to keep it all secure. All right, it's good to go. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was our quick seat upgrade video. Super easy to do, as you can see, it only costs $7. Um, we've done this on six bikes now and haven't had a single issue. Um, all the bolts have stayed snug and all the riders have been super happy with the upgrade. Not a big change by any means, but it makes a huge difference. Thanks for watching.